The Chicago Firehouse Restaurant is a classic steak and seafood restaurant with an extensive history, mm. and it will be honoring firefighters this International Firefighter Appreciation Day. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen this morning with more details is Assistant Sous Chef Keith Corbo. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. This, I love this restaurant. Mm. It sits in a beautiful place right there on 14th in Michigan, but it's also a former firehouse. It absolutely yeah. is. And when you go in, there's still some elements there that, is. that um, remind you of such. We have um, been able to maintain the fire pole in the lounge, Ooh. and it's got the double doors that drew in horse carriages mm -hmm. that were would carrying the engines into mm -hmm. the front. We have those facing Michigan Avenue, as well as different artifacts really throughout the restaurant. We, um, it was important for the owners to really keep the integrity of the original building. Mm -hmm. I love that, that's so smart. Okay, so you salt and pepper the sea bass that we're gonna be Absolutely. making, correct? You gotta yep. salt and pepper, you gotta season your fish. What uh, kind of oil are you cooking in? This is gonna be a really light canola oil, because okay. it has a high burn content okay also so it gives a good browning on the fish mm -hmm. and we're gonna put these in right now and you're gonna hear the sizzle Ooh. which is always nice yeah okay you want to get a nice brown crust on the fish and what helps with that is a little bit of butter mm -hmm. now don't be shy with the butter I was like a little bit or a lot yeah it's all uh, don't good to be me. shy with the butter it's always good it imparts flat or it imparts a little bit of flavor mm -hmm. and then you also want to do a little bit of garlic that's been crushed as well as some fresh thyme. Okay. The thyme is gonna give it a little bit of an herbaceous note, and then we could just go ahead and it's gonna release. So, as far as the firehouse, we're, um, yeah, okay, no, so it was an old engine 100, 104? That's correct, engine okay. 104. Okay, and, and actually, I remember, in my time, yeah. it actually caught fire. Yeah. That's correct, that's correct. Not it's too not, terribly long ago. Right, that was in 2014. Uh -huh. 2014, we, um, ironically enough, caught a fire. And we were able to save some of the stuff that we had in the original firehouse. Oh, sure. So the original bar we were able to save. That's right. Okay. We, were supposed to, we were able to save a couple little artifacts, and that's just due to the firefighters that were there. Yeah. That really helped us out. Mm -hmm. I mean, the men and women, they, showed immense courage, and oh, they do yeah. every day. So that's why we want to honor them tomorrow on National Firehouse uh, Firefighters Day. So mm -hmm. you're cooking for them, of course, because that's what you guys do best. Uh, 104 it. firefighters. That's um, correct. And going to have a, a, sounds like a pretty nice breakfast. It's going to be a great breakfast. we got got um, a live music for them. We've got the kids from Old St. Mary's right down the block. They're going to mm -hmm. come and greet them. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We just want to do something small, something celebratory of what they do for us. So it's just a way to really honor the firefighters in this city, and not only in this city, but also give a nod to all the firefighters across, across country. the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let, let me talk about, you also are raising money for a foundation that takes care of firefighters as well, that are uh, injured, or at least their families may be injured or in need. Yep, that is correct. We do um, we do any, any chance that we can to give back to the community. We do raise money for the families of uh, fallen firefighters. Which we've just had two recently. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, correct, timing. that's correct. So if there's anything that we can do in order to give back to the community, especially being the firehouse, we're definitely gonna do that. Yeah, some great pictures sure. you guys doing some, oh, of, see, some of that wonderful. stuff. I yes, know, I love absolutely. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, back to our dish, so you, yes. you just flipped it over. So yes, we flipped it over, you're gonna see I got a nice brown crust in yes, here. Yes, you do, that is yeah. cool. So what you yeah. do is you tip the pan a little bit and then you just baste. And you want to baste this fish to get it nice and buttery. It doesn't take very long either. It doesn't. White fish cooks real fast. Um, this is a wild striped bass from Virginia. Um, we don't use Chilean sea bass. It's been over farmed for the last 30 years. So we do try to um, source fresh local ingredients. Okay. But when it comes to seafood, we try to, whatever is available, okay. really. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we use something that has not been over farmed, okay. if Fantastic. you will. And we have a nice little wine selection. Oh, yes. yes. Here, this is going to be a perfect, perfect compliment. I love that. Ooh, okay. What so is this? this is uh, an Arnaz. And an Arnis, if you will. And it's a white wine from Italy, mm -hmm. um, Piedmont. Piedmont. And okay. it's going to have a touch of effervescence. It's similar to a Pinot Grigio, where it's going to have a nice, crisp, light flavor, perfect for a summer day yeah. on the patio. Mm -hmm. Speaking of a patio, mm -hmm. we do have our patio open. 
It's going to be, oh, yes. We, well, we, you know, we had that warm weather. Oh, yeah, yes. Whole, what, so we were, we were ready or not, yeah. we were open, right? Right, get it going. Um, But coming up this next week, we're going to have some really nice weather. We're going to have the patio open. We have a veranda on the second floor. I love that. That is absolutely lovely. Okay, we only um, have about 30 seconds left. Oh, let me take this I off. I want to make sure, yeah, because. Uh, we're going to plate this. Yep. I know you have like a lovely arugula salad too. I do. So we're just going to get this on the plate. Okay. Wow, so fun. It. And, and the entire smells so good. And we're going to put this arugula salad together really fast. Oh my gosh. Just so what is that going to consist of? This is going to be, a, it's very simple. Arugula, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice and fresh herbs. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and poof, magic and TV. Poof. And this oh. is beautiful. Oh, that is oh, wonderful. Yeah. It's right yeah. to the side. So nice and so simple. I love it. So fresh, good. simple, classic ingredients. That's what we do at the firehouse. Okay. We elevate the classics. I love it. I want to try this because it looks so good. Please, by all means. Good. It's going to be hot, so please be careful. Okay. Oh, fantastic. All right. Uh, you guys can check out the Chicago Firehouse Restaurant on Michigan Avenue. Uh, Chicago Firehouse Restaurant is the social media handles, and ChicagoFireHouse.com is the website. Thank mm. you, ladies, for having mm. us. Thank it's you. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. Celebration is tomorrow, correct? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Tomorrow morning. All right. I got to try it with yes, the Yes, absolutely. Right. Thank you, Chef.